my my algorithm was fuzzy C means. Um, yeah. So here's a brief concept uh, theory description of it. So fuzzy C means FCM is a method of clustering that allows points to be in more than one cluster. This algorithm was developed by Dunn in 1973 and improved by Bazdek in 1981. The, pro the problem of classifying outliers gave rise to non-hard, uh, non uh, hard algorithms, uh, meaning soft algorithms, and um, were flexible enough to effectively deal with these points. Hence the name soft clustering, as I mentioned before, and also known as soft k-means due to its design centered around k-means. The difference between F the M FCM and k-means is that FCM assigns membership of each node to each cluster, and basically this allows points to be um, partially in one cluster and partially in the other cluster. Um, Every node has a membership to every single uh, cluster. So these are the two, uh, these two images uh, side by side um, are the difference between K means and FCM. This is K means and that's fuzzy C means. And so as you can tell from the picture, um, there is, it's just either zero and zero or one. So, um, but in, in fuzzy, in FCM, it can be in any, decimal value between 0 and 1 uh, resulting in this sort of showing up and just so you can see in U, uh, UCVX, or UCXV that the matrix of all these uh, membership values are a little bit different so uh, the pseudocomb for SEM is that in step 1 it randomly selects C cluster centers unless you, the user uh, defines it and then it repeats step two. So part A of step two is to, re is to calculate the fuzzy membership uh, UIJ for each data in the cluster. Compute the centroids VJ for each cluster and, to, and then it stops this until minimum J is achieved, which basically just means that the centroids for each cluster uh, don't make significant uh, distance change. So. Um, step two and three are basically the background, the backbone of the algorithm, um, which basically just gives uh, each data its membership. So, before we get into the math, here are some important variables to use. So, um, n equals the number of uh, data points, which can, which can be randomized, but um, it, it can be defined as well by the user. And then vj is uh, the jth cluster, uh, cluster center value and then m is the fuzziness index m uh, and then it could be like z one to infinity uh you don't have to worry about that too much it just shows like how fuzzy uh, uh the, the algorithm should be um then c equals the number of cluster centers uij is the membership of ith data to jth cl cluster center xi is the ith dimensional uh, ith of d dimensional measured data and then dij is the euclidean distance between eighth j eighth data and jth cluster so don't worry about them if you don't understand because i think uh, the following equations will just give a lot more context to uh, what they are so uh, here you can see on the top you can see all the variables so in step one um it's pretty in intuitive um so like i said before c which is the number of data points there are can be defined by the user but Sometimes it can be uh, randomized. Uh, uh, step two basically repeats the calculation of membership UIJ and moves centroids VJ. So the fuzzy membership uh, algorithm goes as follows. So UIJ equals one over um, C sigma K equals one. And then you have the Euclidean distance uh, of um, each data from the centroid. And so that's gonna be over this two over M minus one. So D, dij is just Euclidean distance right here, dik right here. Uh, if done correctly, um, sigma of, of j equals 1 until c of uij well, should equal to 1 uh, because each uij value for each uh, node uh, is basically just a percentage value. So like this node is 60% this cluster and 30% and another cluster. and 10% the third cl cluster and they should just technically just add up to one So the next step is to realign the centroids for each cluster, which is the following so VJ equals um, the distance of all um, or all the um, 
uh, membership values uh, times the actual value. So um, if a value is not really directly tied too much to this certain cluster, then its UIJ could be zero. And so it has no significance uh, to changing the values. So um, yeah, and so this is true for all values from one to C. The sum of all weighted values over the sum of the data. Uh, that's basically what that is. And then um, uh, basically it just finds the center of gravity for each cluster, cluster centroid. Uh, these two steps repeat until um, this is over max ij. Um, so this is like where k equals the iteration step, b is the um, termination criterion between 0 and 1, uij of, of nxc, uh, n high c, is, uh, is the mem fuzzy membership matrix. And then uh, J is the objective function. Uh, so this, which can this this converges to a local minimum SATA point uh, of J M. Uh, when the program terminates, we will have a C number of clusters that are at their final values. So here's a comparison model. In the following example, I, like it's a, it's a monodimensional uh, graph to demonstrate uh, F C M. Uh, 20 data points, three clusters are um, basically, which is trying to find uh, the the matrix uh, UCXV, which basically just holds all the membership uh, values. So, um, oops, the, uh, this is basically our termination, our uh, uh, terminate termination condition. So, this has to equal to 0 0.3 for it to stop. Um, that's a, that's a certain threshold. And so here's a step at step zero. This is um, steps two and eight, two A and two B. Like I mentioned before, will um, occur until the termination terminate uh, condition is met. Uh, this is the algorithm at its eighth step, which is probably near uh, towards the end where it gets um, below zero point three. So here's some applications of FCM. Fuzzy, fuzzy clustering has an important role in the world of data science due to its flexibility and grouping data uh, that has its basis in uncertain parameters. Um, consumer behavior and market segmentation are best classified using a soft clustering algorithm such as FCM. Um, there are many types of FCMs, uh, uh, many types of soft clusterings. Uh, algorithms and FCM is um, used in bioinformatics where pattern recognition is to analyze data expressions um, uh, make makes use of uh, membership methods so like gene expression and whatnot clustering images under noise could have th uh, throw a pretty hard turn to for ml but in the seven in the 70s image analysis has adopted MS FCM and has since improved accuracy overall so in the picture to the right you can just see image segmentation of this picture of flowers. Yeah, that's basically it.